Okay, so we got the T-post in over there. Um, and I was just messing around with pulling some of the staples. Uh, I'd like to be able to try and reuse this barbed wire that's on the existing fence. Uh, you know, no sense in using some new stuff if I can reuse this. Uh, it doesn't seem to be very old, maybe four or five years old, I'd guess. Sometime before we got the farm here, but it uh, looks to be in pretty good shape. I've tested pulling some of the staples out, and they seem to be coming out pretty good. Most of them are uh, barbless staples. Uh, there's been a few barbed, but these posts are old enough that they're just pulling right out. And in case you don't know, this is a barbless staple. See, it, the sides are just smooth on there. And then this one right here has the barbs on it. You can kind of see right, right in there and on the bottom. There's little barbs, and that helps it grab into the wood better. But, of course, when you've got posts that are 50 years old, yeah, it doesn't really matter whether you have barbed or barbless staples. But anyway, uh, we've got a couple hours left here today to work on this, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a go and see if we can't uh, wrap this up and get the new fence up. Alrighty, so we got the fence all up here. I started realizing I was going to run a little bit short on uh, daylight, so I didn't do any recording of me actually stringing the fence. I just didn't have time to mess around with moving the camera around and whatnot. But we got that up. It's not the tightest or the prettiest, but there's no uh, bracing on the end post, so you can't really make it too tight anyways. So this is all I'm going to get done today. I'm trying to pick up some of my tools while I talk. And uh, this is all I'm going to get done today. Uh, and I'll come back out here in the next day or two and clean out these posts along here. There's still some barbed wire left in there. Uh, initially it was a four strand over here and I only did three strand for the new one because again like I said it's just sort of a temporary fix until we get a high tensile uh, permanent um, fence in there that's electric with wooden posts and everything so that's not going to be staying there any ways uh, for very long. Alrighty, we are back for day two. Uh, looks like the uh, the fence has held up just fine. The bulls haven't tried going through it, so that's good. And maybe today we'll be able to kind of clean up some of this stuff that's left here. It looks like originally there might have been some woven wire fence through here, so it's kind of a mess. We got a bunch of old rusty of that. Still got one strand of the barbed wire left to pull off from here. Um, I think I've probably got a use for that somewhere else. There's another fence that I need to kind of bump back uh, where I'm wanting to do some brush clearing and it's just too close. I can't really get in there uh, to rip stuff out and stack it. So I'll probably be reusing that over there. And then these fence posts, they'll just get burnt. Their, their useful life is long past and some of these are kind of falling over anyways. So. Uh, they're they're not good anymore they're they'll provide a little heat i guess on the the burn pile but other than that they're done So, got all the fence out of here, the posts out, they're all stacked over there on the burn pile. And I think I've gotten most of the wire cleaned up out of here. Um, so, it's probably not going to happen in this video, but I've got to move all these logs. And I'm not entirely sure where I want to put them. I mean, I've, I've got the, the skid steer now to move stuff around, and that makes stuff so much easier. But just because you have that capability doesn't mean that you should be 
inefficient with using it. So I uh, I want to make sure where I put the logs is a good place to put it. So I want to kind of think this through before um, I start moving them. So I don't think I'm going to do that today. However, one thing that I can do today is move this pile of dirt. I'm going to move this over near the fence line over there, get that out of the way because I definitely don't want this here. Uh, that stuff came from the Ford over there and that by the Ford I mean the uh, stream crossing Ford not the Ford pickup that's sitting right over there. Uh, dug out a little bit of dirt and had some gravel and stone put in over there to kind of uh, solid solidify whatever the word is to get that done over there and we dumped the dirt over here. 